This week allowed Parker and Alan to step into their own and have some necessary development that they didn't have the time nor freedom for last week due to the fact that everyone was just trying to be more and more hands-on. But then again, it was a season opener last week, so yeah. I was impressed with how graceful and agile Parker was as the Grey Ninja. And I don't know if I'm alone on this, but it kind of reminded me of how Spider-Man jumped around. And I can already see the meme images already. Who am I? I'll tell you, I'm Spider-Man. And that is the worst David Graham impression I've ever done. And I'm sorry for that. But it's just the way that Parker was just, you know, jumping around. Obviously being an ex-serviceman. It's just like, that kind of reminds me of Spider-Man a little bit. And I can see the mean pictures already. Where somebody will put Parker's head onto Spider-Man's costume. It was extremely rare back in the day when Thunderbird 3 had this kind of focus in an episode and to see it heavily involved in this story along with giving Alan the spotlight to grow as a character was really rewarding because Thunderbird 3 was not acting as a side extra or almost as a secondary piece to the story. The fact that it was given time to where you could really see more of what it could do in this episode because last week we were just given tasters of what it could do and to see its pace and its agility to the way it moved through space that was nice to see I'm gonna be honest. Rasmus, Thomas and David just stole the show with their performances this week. John's reaction to the automated hologram call options, if you will, kind of reflects what we, th what most of us think today about automated calls whenever we have to call into these, like if, you know, you're calling into your cable operator or a cable service provider and you've got to go for these list of options his face kind of is like yeah we've been there dude we know exactly what you're thinking with that it's like we don't enjoy this either i like the fact that john was so hands-on this week i mean he was he was hands-on last week with direct directing the calls and the operation but the fact that he was directing everything this week and really getting involved with all the fine details. He's basically a younger version of his father, but in a much more high-tech environment, and I, I really enjoyed that. Parker being the character he is, with how he infiltrated the archives, and then keeping the main officer's attention whilst Penelope got the info that the team needed, was, was just awesome. David is still the man. The space chase sequence using Thunderbird 3 as a means of keeping the mine occupied whilst going in between the, the civilian spacecraft up in orbit was just a spectacle to behold. I can't fault it. Really can't. I was really impressed with this week's episode. After the double helping of what we can expect from the new generation of Thunderbirds, this week gave decent character building for those involved. Until next week, my fellow International Rescue Cadets, good night from the night.